Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release day. We got 2018-19 Panini Certified Basketball coming at you. Our first look, uh, at least for our side anyway, our first look at the brand new draft class, the current draft class, which is great. We're doing a six-box pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. The second half is almost full, ladies and gentlemen. So there's everyone right there getting involved. Now, we have a $25 break credit promo going on here. If you purchase at least three teams, you'll get one entry, one entry max, into a randomizer for $25 a break credit. All you got to do is buy at least three. That's it. Now, if you buy more than three, you won't get more entries, but you will be able to block other people from getting entries, thus improving your odds. So keep that in mind. Also, for breaks one through four, so for the first two full cases, breaks one through four will be uh, shipping everything. So all cards will ship in breaks one through four. And then from breaks five onwards, no veteran base, no vet commons will be shipping. So just FYI. I think all that information should be in the item description, folks. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What's the easiest way to do this? All right, so there is two, four, six boxes on the bottom and two, four, six boxes on the top. We're gonna roll the die. One, two, three will be the top six, or four, five, six will be the bottom six. I think that'll be the easiest way to do it. Good luck, boxes. And it's three. One, two, three. So we'll be doing the top six. So these, I'll quickly mark two right here. So it's kind of hard to see, but you'll see two marked on here. So we'll know that those are for the next break. Right. Oh, the top loaders wanted to hit the bell. And so you'll see two right there, and I'm sure this, this will sell out very soon. We were only down to like three teams. All right. So we got Luka, Luka Doncic on the, on the front. Two autographs, one memorabilia card per box on average. And get freshman fabric signatures, on-card autographs. A lot of great stuff in here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, people always ask, hey, what's if you want to try to make a little extra extra money, what would be the best sport to collect? It would be pretty much hockey or basketball. Soccer gets up there too, but but hockey or basketball really has a great return on the secondary market. So even if you don't personally collect, you know, kind of getting a good return may be enough motivation for some people to get to start collecting basketball more often. I think we really liked last year's draft class. This year's draft class also very solid. And we're also predicting next year's draft class to be solid as well. So that's kind of three really good years of uh, of hoops. So I think we're going to jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're going to be making a, a heavier investment, taking a heavier position, a stronger position on basketball over the next year or so. So hoops fans Keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com all throughout the basketball season and and in the off season too. And hoops is always fun to talk about. All sorts of I'm a Lakers guy. So I'm happy about LeBron being in Los Angeles. Don't worry, I still love Kobe. But I'm okay with LeBron being in Los Angeles. And there's a lot of drama happening in basketball as well. And so that's all. That all. That's always exciting. A lot of gold is is the Golden State Warriors. Is that over? Is that dream over? All right. So these, the higher numbered cards, will uh, will have our shipping team sleeve and top load. Now, obviously, the lower numbered cards, I'll sleeve and top load immediately. Twenty five and under. And David knows predicting Kevin Durant to L.A. What this year? This is for the Grizz. That goes to Aaron Kreger, Last Bot Mojo. 
yeah, I mean, hey, it's it's a uh, it's sports soap opera, you know, which which makes it great. At 107 out of 199, we've got choice signatures. Ernie De Gregorio for the old Buffalo Braves. What did the Buffalo Braves turn into? This is really testing my my old old basketball knowledge. Um, I think they did. They turn into they turned into the Clippers. Yeah, the franchise moved to moved the team to San Diego in the late seventies, then to L.A. in the mid eighties, and now they're the Clippers. So let me tag that. Now, if there's no clear association with a M, if this happens again, if there's no clear association with an NBA team, we'll just randomize it to a person in the brig. EA thinks KD goes to uh, goes back home to Washington D.C. Out of one forty nine, Trailblazers, we got Anthony Simons. I don't know what KD is gonna do. What can he? What, what's his situation? Can he opt out this year, or what? Is, he, is it an opt out, or is he a free agent? I actually don't remember what his contract situation is. This will also help me get familiar with the new basketball class too. Chris Levert, who's been having a great season, but then dislocated his ankle. Thankfully, he might actually be able to come back. Isn't that crazy? And we've got Michael Porter Jr., certified potential on-card autograph for the Denver Nuggets. Darren McKenzie with that Trailblazers relic went goes to William. And DMAC with the Michael Porter Jr. He's got an opt-out, says David and David. Okay. Thanks, Davids. All right, box one in the books. All right, next box. Oh, DC is kind of a mess. They, I think they'd have to rework a lot of things. They got to figure out who to keep and who to not keep if they're really going to make a push for Kevin Durant. Because at the moment, it seems like seems like that locker room, at least from what what we hear on the West Coast, that locker room seems to be a little fractured. But if the Washington Wizards ownership can say, hey, Kevin, Mr. Durant, we've got everything figured out. You know, here's what we're going to do. Here are our plans. We want you to be the centerpiece of this team. Come back home. Maybe that argument would work, but they've got to they've got to do a lot of reworking before I think that's a re more realistic situation. Kevin Durant could stay in Golden State, maybe, although he's wearing a Redskins hat, EA, in the press conference. And he was answering questions about Draymond, so maybe he is thinking about DC. <laughs> that could be a, that could be a signal right there. All right, good luck, everybody. All right, we got Bryant Reeves, choice signatures, eighty-six out of one ninety-nine for the Memphis Grizzlies. That goes to Aaron. Last spot, Mojo. Remember, for the first four breaks, all cards ships. Everything you see here will ship, including all the vet base. From breaks five on, vet base will not ship. So I know some people like the veteran base, the commons. So if that's your thing, if that motivates you, get spots in the first four breaks. 103 out of 149, fabric of the game. Nerland's Noel for OKC. That'll be for John Alfie's. We got Thaddeus Young right here out of 199. Justin Jackson to 49. And rookie roll call, DeAndre Ayton for the Phoenix Suns. Elvis Ekman with the Suns. You got the number one overall pick. 
He's turning. He, he could be the center. They've got a lot of young players on that team. He could turn that team around. Nice on-card auto. There's Jeremy Lin to 199. And there's Bradley Beal to 199. You're welcome, Elvis. Wait, Elvis, wasn't this the break where you, you like, accidentally bought the Suns and you didn't really want the Suns? But then you were like, ah, let it ride? I'm pretty sure. All right, well, nice start there. Yes, he says. I remember that. It was like late one night. Late last night, maybe? Late late one night. Tuesday night. And it was just, you're just like, eh, I didn't mean to buy the Suns. I'm like, well, you got number one overall pick. You might as well. And he's like, yeah, fine. And there it is. What I mean, what a, let, let's, let's get an idea of some pricing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what a what is what, what are DeAndre Ayton autographs going for these days on a secondary market? Because you'd be surprised, ladies and gentlemen, on how well basketball resells on a secondary market. I think we're uh, Jaspie's case breaks. As a as a business, we are taking a a strong position with basketball over the next couple of years. Trying to grow our uh, grow our basketball audience a little bit. All right, we got uh, for the certified potential for the Sixers, Landry Shamet, on card auto for the Sixers. That'll be for Robert Rincon. Uh, David No is saying that even though those cards aren't numbered, right? They're not. These rookie roll calls aren't numbered. About three, four hundred. So there you go. Very nice. 27 out of 49. Nicola Batum. We got out of 299. D'Lo, D'Angelo Russell. Got James Harden. Jordan Bell. You going to hold on to it? The DeAndre Ayton? We hit a DeAndre Ayton Lynn. Rookie roll call autograph. And we've got Devin Hall, rookie roll call, on card auto for the Thunder. OKC, John Alfies with the Thunder. Oh, so you straight up PC the basketball card. Nice. Well, there you go. That's a good one. Number one overall pick. Hang on to that. If he ends up being like the savior for the Phoenix Suns. It'd be worth a lot. Two out of ten. Musa. And that'll be for the Brooklyn Nets. Aaron. Sorry, Talon. No, you can't. You don't. You don't get free advertising on my channel. <laughs> Unbelievable. Can you can you can you imagine? Can you believe that, Mike Magor? You go to someone else's channel to promote their own channel for sports card. Unbelievable. The gall. That's like that's like that's like going to that's like going to Starbucks. That's like going to Starbucks and saying, hey, come over to Coffee Bean. It's like going inside Starbucks and being like, hey. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's going to McDonald's. Hey, go to Burger King. I'm from Burger King. Check out my burgers. Like, come on. Where's lack, complete lack of respect?
don't know if it was a noble attempt. It was certainly an attempt, though. There's Kuz, Kyle Kuz, they're playing the Trailblade. My Lakers are playing the Trailblade this time. And look at this, Colin Sexton. Certified potential on card autograph. Actually, it's even worse, card blasters. It's almost like you go to a mom and pop. It's like <laughs> you go to a mom and pop coffee shop and say, hey, come check out my mom and pop coffee shop. <laughs> like, that's kind of disrespectful. Nice Colin Sexton for the Cavs. Aaron Kreger, last spot, Mojo. It's a strong one. Out of 199, Rajon Rondo. One eighteen out of one ninety nine choice signatures. Jack Sigma, Seattle Supersonics. Old Jack. Uh, that'll actually go to the Thunder. John Alfie's with that one. About a hundred on what, David? No. So I'll go to OKC, obviously. I kind of like the those old school autos that we've been seeing in there. We got new generation relic, Jacob Evans the third out of one forty nine. Oh, that DeAndre Ayton autograph. Well, still, still a nice hit. All right. Well, don't be so presumptuous, Mike Magor. You, you don't think we're going to have the CMAs on on the TV here later tonight? It's country music's biggest night. Stanley Johnson out of 99. All right, two more boxes to go. Nice start thus far. Also, I have, to, I, have to, I have to write this down right here. Can't forget that. You have to buy at least three teams to get one entry max. If you buy more than three teams, you only get one entry, but you can block other people from getting entries. Thus improving your odds. All right, two boxes go. Great start so far. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you went to New Jersey's new FanDuel Sportsbook near MetLife Stadium, Mike Magor says. You put down a few NBA bets. It does not attract a, cl a classy crowd. That's what he says. I guess Mike Magor is a classy guy? Um, also 1 p.m. on a Wednesday, long, slow line. Well, yeah, that's what I would expect to. It's not like they have like, uh, you know, Vegas ticket riders who have been there doing that forever. Got to save one of those. LeBron James in a Lakers uni. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're, they're still they're still hammering out how to be more efficient in handling and writing all those tickets. It's going to take some time. I don't think there's anything on the web yet, Elvis, unless your state allows it and has like a website that you can, you can go with. There's Jaron Jackson Jr., rookie roll call, another Grizzly for Aaron. So, yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't compare the FanDuel Sportsbook to, to, the, to Vegas. They've been doing it for decades. So they, they've got it 
they've got a they've they're used to it. They don't know they know what to do. But for us, Elvis, no. Un unless your state has legalized it and and then has allows you to uh, go online and use their web apps or website or whatever, I don't think that'll be available to us. Out of one ninety nine, Andre Kirilenko, choice signatures for the Utah Jazz. That jazzy hit going to Jerry Bennington. And there's Musa again. I think Zanon Musa. Fabric of the game relic going to Aaron and the Brooklyn Nets. Got some Grayson Allen here too. I forgot that he was on the Jazz. Has Grayson Allen been playing at all? Is he getting minutes? I don't know what his situation is. Basketball season still new. Still uh, still really getting into the swing of things. Jimmy Butler to the Sixers. That's a huge move. Jimmy Butler saga over. In Minnesota, at least. But I think that's a, that's a good... Jimmy Butler, veteran player. Uh, that that could be good. That could be very good for a, a young 76ers team. Already trouble in paradise for DeAndre Jordan in Dallas. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. And signed, sealed, and delivered. Stacey Ogman, Atlanta Hawks, out of 199. That'll go to Chris Parent in Atlanta. There is Seth Curry, 005 out of 149. Uh, Trailblazers edition looks like. Is he, on, is he on the Trailblazers now, William? I don't think I realized that. There's D'Angelo Russell again. Tyler Dorsey out of 2.99, and there's a Marvin Bagley third certified potential on card autograph for the Sacramento Kings. Nice King for Aaron Kreger, another last spot mojo spot. I like those on card autos in there too. There's Nicola Batum out of 49. Devin Booker. Rudy Gay at a 199. There's Marvin again at a 299. And there's DeAndre Jordan at the end right there. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nice, quick six box break. That was a lot of fun. Let's do some more hoops. We got more on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. And now let's check out who's going to get all that break credit. 25 bucks could go a long way. Jaspies. Let's get everyone's names here. Let's uh, sort by column A. Aaron bought at least three teams. No, no. John bought at least three teams. Are there only two people? Wow. Looks like only, yeah, only two people bought at least three teams. All right. Randomizer between Aaron and John. Let's roll the dice. Uh, five and a one. Six times for that list. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. One more time. Six times. Name on top is? Stays with Aaron. Aaron Kreger, 
25 bucks of break credit coming your way. You had a 50-50 shot. Nice. Thanks, everybody. Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next certified basketball break. Brand new rookie class. Check it out.